And neither shall we, class of 2010, nor have we ever failed. You want to know why? Because we are family. We shared an imperceptible youthful bond as gators, bulldogs, wildcats, cougars, patriots, and owls. We split a friendly bond of rivalry as eagles and tigers. But then, my friends, we overcame our civil war, our have signed a treaty, our bond crystallized, and we united to form a class with so much style, so much class, and so much swagger that a new Bainbridge High School had to be reconstructed for us. <laughs> As with any family, conflict and anger occasionally chinked our gold bond. Yet, our sense of camaraderie was always there to repair the, the cracks. We have immortalized old friendships, and we have spawned new ones, even if one of those turned out to be a, with a nip nerd, a waterhead, or a dykes. <laughs> Whether a boyfriend or a girlfriend, and every now and then acquaintance, some random Facebook friend, or that special person you warm heartedly call your buddy, each one of us is connected to one another. Each one of us has a picture or two in the family album. Each one of us has written a page in our encyclopedia of memories. And each one of us ple bleeds the same purple and gold. It is because of this family bond that the class of 2010 has put 1994 to shame with its flood <laughs> of success. <laughs> No other class has brought more hardware from the Daytona National High School Drill Team Championships. No other class can claim more final fours in basketball of both sexes and can claim a girls basketball state player of the year. No other class has produced a more dominant group of tennis girls who finish as state runner-ups, but more importantly, who finish as public school state champions. No other class has won a track and field state championship the first team sport championship since a soon-to-be-retired soon man sitting behind me won one in 1982. Not just in sports, ladies and gentlemen, but in academics as well. No other class can claim a valiant cancer survivor whose inspirational Laws of Life story plays second runner-up in all of Georgia. No other class has ever shipped a pack of bloodthirsty academic bowl quiz cats to Chicago for the NAQT Nationals. And no other class can declare knowing a guy who turned down Harvard for the unparalleled United States Military Academy, the world's premier leadership institution for the nation's military officers of tomorrow. The list goes on and on. And don't even let me get started on individual accolades. The class of 2010 has put Bainbridge GA on the map and has ushered Bainbridge High into a new era of excellence and hope. I sincerely hope that this era may continue in the upcoming years through the upcoming classes. But for right now, I'd like to quote my good friend Percy Shelley from his poem Ozymandias and say this warning to all of those classes that dare to challenge our legacy. Look on our works, you mighty, in despair. Before I sign off, it would be a shame for me not to introduce you to another prominent family that I paradoxically lived with my entire life, yet never explicitly got to know the members of the family until recently when one of the greatest music educators in the country and one of my greatest mentors, our very own Mr. Pascal Ward, shared their names with me. Class of 2010, listen closely. It is a pleasure to introduce you to the Success family. The father of success is work. The mother of success is ambition. The oldest, the oldest son is common sense. Some of the other boys are perseverance, honesty, thoroughness, foresight, enthusiasm, and cooperation. The oldest daughter is character. Some of the sisters are cheerfulness, loyalty, courtesy, care, economy, sincerity, and harmony. And alas, the baby is opportunity. Get acquainted with the old man, and you'll be able to get, get along pretty well with the rest of the family. Boy, how much that rings true. Work. That dreaded word that no one wants to hear. That word that makes us hit the snooze button countless numbers of times in the morning. That word we wish Merriam-Webster never put in the dictionary. However, that word represents what we have to do to get anywhere in life. Legendary NFL, 
Legendary NFL coach Vince Lombardi once said rather nicely that hard work is the price we'll have to pay to achieve any goal. That's right, you heard the man, the winner of five NFL championships and two Super Bowls. Sometimes we just have to suck it up and do work, my friends. <clears throat> I sounded rather harsh, so let me break the tension and bring your attention to the more positive, hopeful baby of the family, opportunity. Reality, opportunity's arch nemesis is imminently approaching us. However, you see, unlike reality, who stands slowly knocking on your doorstep, opportunity doesn't knock, it rings a bell. That last part was taken from a Taco Bell employment ad, by the way. <laughs> opportunity is in your hands the moment you receive that diploma and shake hands with the one and only Polo King ready to clash and go 300 on reality and ready to protect you from reality invading your house and prized possessions. Perhaps controversial rap sensation Marshall Bruce Mathers III, aka Eminem, <laughs> preaches the matter most clearly and effectively in his hit song, Lose Yourself. You only get one shot. Do not miss your chance to blow. This opportunity comes once in a lifetime. Yo. <laughs> Graduation. Class of 2010, this is your opportunity. Your opportunity to open doors. Your opportunity to make a change. Your opportunity to make a difference in the lives of others. Your opportunity to make something out of the 18,000 hours you spend in school. And with hard work and a little bit of luck, your opportunity to seize everything you ever wanted. So, class of 2010, will you capture this moment or just let it slip? And that's the question and final thought I'll leave you with, my fellow classmates. Fortunately, making the right choice and seizing this opportunity is easier here than elsewhere in the world. For you have been blessed with living in the United States of America, the land of opportunity, the greatest nation on the face of the planet, a land where the impossible becomes possible and where the rags to riches story might as well be a registered trademark. Back to the point at the beginning of my novel. That's 2010. I challenge you to reach for your dreams. Por qué dreams and not stars, you might ask? Look up in the sky. See how far the, the stars are? Oh, there's none. <laughs> Get the picture, though. Dreams are closer, first of all, and more realistic to reach. Also, dreams are in your mind. The mecca and birthplace of all of man's accomplishments. So focus your mind on your dreams. <laughs> lose yourself, but don't lose sight and aspire to truly make your dreams a reality. It has been an incredible honor being named a valedictorian and being part of the most dynamic, accomplished, and Vinnie Vidi Vici-esque class Bainbridge has ever witnessed. I hope you had the time of your life, my friends. I assure you that nobody, nobody will miss you as much as I will. Farewell, Bainbridge High School, and thanks for the unforgettable ride. Class of 2010, Echele Ganas, give it your all. Opportunity awaits, and the world is ours. I love you guys, congratulations, and God bless. Yeah.